Massey, but what I've been concerned about as well, and I mentioned this in my response to Joe Oliver's letter, my open letter, point, it has also been a steady motif and drumbeat from the Harper Conservatives that environmental assessment is nothing but delay, in the same way that they treat Parliament as nothing but delay. Anything that gets in the way of the most <laughs> ambitious rapid expansion of oil sands, regardless of where the money comes from or what foreign government is buying up our oil sands, nothing should stand in the way, whether it's a national security review, an environmental assessment, foreign investment reviews, or the legalities that come about through a parliamentary debate, nothing should stand in the way of rapid development in the oil sands. I know that the Prime Minister's stated goal of six million barrels of oil a day has been stated by people in the oil patch as being unrealistic to them. They don't see how we're going to get rapidly to six million barrels of oil a day. But the, the pressures on the National Energy Board Canadian Environmental Assessment Panel are extreme. And I will say right now that there's every indication that we will see in, 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 the, in the next few weeks or months a, a real attack on the existence of the Canadian Environmental Assessment Agency and its ability to do its work.